What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen, back again for another Outer Plane video. And for today, it's the usual Chuju Salmon video because tomorrow after the update, we will be getting a new banner. And this time around, we are going to be getting that new 3 star which is Ray. I've already talked about the other uh, festival character which is Ginella on another video, on another separate video. You might want to check that one out. And while you're at it, like the video, share the video, support your boy, subscribe to the channel, yada yada. Enough with the promotion, let's now go ahead and check out Ray's skill set. The question is, should you summon for Ray? Ray is very kawaii. Yeah, very very kawaii. With some really nice pan service right there. So Ray is an earth element, battle type striker, subclass attacker. The new hero Ray will be added to normal recruit after the 11.19 update. So, unlike Ginella, she's going to be in the standard uh, pool of summons after her banner ends. So, yeah, she is not a limited character. You have the chance to get her uh, in your in some of your uh, pools as a uh, out banner. And also, she might get a rerun faster compared to the festival character, which is Ginella. Let's talk about our skill set. Blade Dance. At skill enhance level 5, attacks the enemy and when it is the caster's turn, gain 2 unique resources which is the natural talent. Uh, these unique resources are something like the one from uh, Brin. Uh, where if you have those uh, kinds of uh, unique resources, you're, all, you're able to do some nasty things. Like for example with Brin, once you have the 5 uh, unique resources, uh, you will be able to use her uh, skill 3. Uh, her skill 2, Pulse Release. Uh, at skill enhanced level 5, attacks the enemy and when it is the caster's turn, gain 2 unique resource, Natural Talent. This skill ignores the defense of water or healer enemies by 30%. Pretty, pretty strong uh, skill to hear. Uh, although this one is a... Uh, single target attack take note that this is this is a single target attack and this one is very very strong against water type enemies uh, any class but water type or healer enemies any healers as long any element as long as they are healer enemies so the likes of Pamon and Ava Nela Mene, those are the annoying characters in PvP, and you can Ray can probably one shot most of them. Yeah, judging by her skill set, she is a healer killer. Uh, I will be talking about that one later on. Let's move on. Uh, the skill 2 has the burst skill levels at burst skill level 1, minus 2 turn pulse release cooldown. So, for the skill 2, Pog. So you will be able to cycle your skills uh, faster if you use the burst skill level 1. Uh, burst skill level 3 plus 1 weakness gauge damage for... Uh, this one is meant for uh, PBE. Uh, and then burst skill level 3 attacks all enemies. The speed of sound cooldown reset. Speed of sound is the skill 3. So if you will notice uh, with her burst skill levels, uh, the activation action points needed for you to be able to use them are pretty cheap yeah 160 for burst skill level 3 is pretty pretty cheap in my honest opinion and the uh, the passive or the trait attached to this one is very op it become from single target it becomes an aoe attack and also it will reset the cooldown of your skill tree resetting the skill cooldown of your ultimate in my honest opinion is really really good uh, not really broken OP, but it's really good. It's really good. It's almost there to becoming an OP uh, trait. But yeah, let's see her skill tree, the speed of sound. At skill enhanced level 5, attacks an enemy, then gains an extra turn. Okay, so skill tree, then skill 2. So yeah, probably she can one shot any healer in the game. Water or healer enemies killed by this skill cannot be resurrected or revived. Take note guys. Water or healer enemies killed by this skill cannot be resurrected 
or revive. Meaning that uh, the likes of uh, Mayne, May Monad Eba, Nela cannot use their uh, revive necklace when they get killed. They cannot. They cannot be a uh, or no. The Asta is not a water or a healer. So yeah, those annoying characters in PVP are very very annoying because of their infinite revives, unlimited uh, revive works. Now comes Ray to silence them all. Yeah, to put them into the oblivion. Uh, if you another extinction added to the lineup of uh, Demi Drakan and then now Ray. Very, very strong, very, very OP in my honest opinion. Uh, and she is, she is an attacker. She probably has a high attack, high attack stat. And she will pair really well with Ginella. Yeah. Pairing her with Ginella is probably the best uh, combination that you can ask for. Because Ginella has a lot of nasty, nasty debuffs. And Ginella is a control character. She can control the field, meaning that the opponent will not be able to do their thing. And Ray is here uh, to one shot them. One shot them. Very, very strong. Especially the annoying uh, healers. Uh, goodbye to them. Goodbye, Stall Team. Uh, it's probably going to be a battle of speed again in today's in the upcoming meta with these two new characters. To be added into the game. I'm really really excited because for some of you who don't know I am a PvP enjoyer. I really enjoy uh, playing PvP in this game. So yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow's update with these two new characters. Uh, also, for her skill tree, if the caster has five unique resources, the ta natural talent, consumes all of them to fully recover the skill cooldown of the speed of sound and ignores 30% of the target's defense. So, Defense penetration if you have the 5 uh, natural talent, but I don't think uh, it is already necessary for you to be using this one because uh, you already get a chance to uh, do this one. Skill 3 to skill 2, then probably skill 3 again. Hmm. Because at the start of the battle, uh, wait. So if you use uh, skill tree, no, you, you do not gain any uh, unique resources when you use skill tree. You only gain them when you use use it on your turn on skill one and on skill two. So you're not going to be activating this uh, effect soonish. But it's already pretty darn OP in my honest opinion. Having the extinct uh, debuff attached to this skill set makes this skill uh, really, really OP in my honest opinion. Yeah. Very, very nice. And then her chain and unique passive. So she is a chain starter. After attacking, reduces the skill cooldowns of all allies by one turn. Not really the best. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but there are way way better uh, chain starter effect, especially in harder PBE contents like the world boss. Uh, you have the Tamara and then uh, the upcoming uh, festival character, which is uh, Ginella. So this one is not it's not in a good spot. Yeah, that's the term that I'm uh, searching for. Her exclusive equipment: Sonic Blade, accuracy to water plus thirty. Unique effect increases damage dealt to bosses and healer enemies by 50%. So she's, she still has some uses in uh, PBE stops because uh, she has some increased damage to bosses. Meaning she's going to be really, really OP. Especially against uh, water boss enemy. Uh, all of her attacks are uh, pretty strong against them. So yeah, Ray is going to be really good. Should you summon for Ray? Uh, I think she's not a mass summon as per se. She is not a meta changer in my honest opinion. But her skill set are very very strong in PvP. 
if you are a PvP enthusiast like me, you are a PvP enjoyer, uh, most of your playing time in other plane spends you spend it in PvP, then Ray is going to be a really good uh, character in your account. And also, if we uh, take into account if we take into consideration uh, RTA, uh, having Ray already in your account is will probably benefit you in the long run. So getting one copy is good enough, then just farm her shards in the shard dungeon. Yeah, do not chase for dupes unless you are a whale. Uh, but if you are a uh, F2P or a light spender or even dolphin, uh, you might want to save those uh, resources for uh, a more... A meta defining character but i don't think it's going to be soonish because usually the meta defining characters are either demiurge character or festival characters or even the seasonal characters well i will be summoning for ray i hope i can get ray with my uh, limited resources because i really want to test her out in pair with Ginella. i believe they work pretty well with each other uh, they complement each other because uh, if my theory is correct, uh, Ginella will not be hitting big PP damage and Ray, should, Ray is going to be the one that finishes the opponents uh, with her skill set. She's the one that be that will be doing the, the most damage. But we will see tomorrow when the update becomes live. I'm really, really excited for tomorrow's update. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.